Often it takes England to play in a major tournament for us to explore Englishness, sparking a debate about what it is to be English. Now the Archbishop of York is calling on the country to protect Englishness. Writing in The Telegraph, the Most Reverend Stephen Cottrell said, Many English people feel left behind by metropolitan elites in London and the South East, and by devolved governments and strengthened regional identities in Scotland and Wales. What we need is an expansive vision of what it means to be English as part of the UK. A first foundation would be a more developed and strengthened regional government within England. We asked people in York what they think of the idea of a regional government. I think it, it would be a great idea to get more voices heard. I wouldn't have Westminster where it is. I'd have it in the middle of the country. I think it's a nonsense. I think certainly moving more of the, the, the governance of the country around the country, I think, will help. The Archbishop didn't specify examples of the metropolitan elite, but some academics say the country's governance is the problem. We have very much in the state in Whitehall and the culture in Westminster, and I don't just mean the Conservatives, I mean the Labour Party as well, which tends to suppress any idea of Englishness and say, let's just talk about Britishness. But that's actually not where most people in England are. Most people are both British and they're English, but that English bit of themselves is very important. You're not allowed to say that you are black and English. Now, that was a deliberate decision by government and the Office of National Statistics. So in way, you could say that you're Bangladeshi Welsh, but in England you're not allowed to say you're Bangladeshi English. So is the church having to step in where the government has failed to unite the country? I think there's a crisis of Englishness, actually, um, and I think English identity is a cause of embarrassment to one set of people, and it's being into the vacuum. The far right is stepping in another direction. And I think, actually, the church helping to start a whole new national dialogue about what it means to be English is a real interesting development. I love those adjectives he uses, courageous and compassionate. I think I want to add one more, which would be diverse, because I think uh, a multicultural nation is now becoming integral to Englishness, as we've seen recently from the, uh, from the Euros and from the English football team and from the Olympics team as well. Increasingly, churches across the north of England are having to step in to meet human needs on issues of poverty and destitution. The Church of England says it's investing in parts of the country which are left behind to be not just a church of England, but for England too. Sadia Chowdhury, Sky News.